Xiaomi launch event in India. You can see what Samir is doing. He's playing with the 9 bot Mini. He's uh, we're hoping he's gonna fall very soon. Uh, fall, Samir. Fall. Yeah, no, Samir can't do that. What Clinton just did. Yeah, so I think. Yeah, this is actually very awesome. Um, it's uh, easier than it looks. See, he can't do nothing to me because it's actually just about. It's actually all about your body weight. Hopefully, this wire is long enough. So yeah, this uh, uh, is the Nine Bot Mini by uh, Xiaomi. It actually has uh, Segways technology uh, as a part of it. And uh, the fun thing is that this little uh, thing between my knees is what you use to turn around, left and right. And uh, basically, you just lean a little back to lean back, lean a little forward to come in front, and. Uh, yeah, that's essentially how you do it. And once you get off it, it's just gonna stand still. So I'm just gonna show you that when we get off, and voila. And it's it's just gonna stand still, just like that, until you want to get on it again. Um, it's actually one of the very cool things. Uh, this is something that I'm excited about. But the noise, if you can hear it in the background, is the Xiaomi Mi TV, the third gen one. That's something that Prasad is really excited about. So, so that that behind us is the 4K Mi TV. Let us let us go a little uh, nearer to the TV before we. Talk about before we talk about it. Yeah, so uh, the the one you see uh, next to us is the 60-inch Mi TV 3. It runs on I think a Snapdragon 600 processor. I'm not sure. Uh, and of course, it's got a 4K display from uh, LG. And it is we have been uh, looking for this TV in India for a long, long time, and we're hoping it comes soon. There will be a uh, there's a Sound bar attached to it. Uh, if we can, yeah, we're going to turn on the TV for you right now. So a very cool thing is actually that this is just the TV. It is uh, the smart capabilities come from the console out here. It's got HDMI, USB inputs. It's a sound bar, and there you go with the one. The interface is uh, not in English, as you can see, uh, and it looks pretty much like a standard smart uh, smart TV. What uh, Xiaomi is really touting the fact is the bezel. Uh, this for this television is as thick as the Mi 4. What do you think about that? Nice. So as thick as the Mi 4 would mean that it's almost uh, as slim as Sony's uh, ultra slim uh, 4K TVs. If you've seen those, those TVs are actually slimmer than an iPhone. So yeah, it's it's actually a really really slim TV. It looks very premium. Uh, there we have had a bunch of uh, you know cheaper 4K TVs in India recently, but this one. Uh, Picture quality wise, and the, from what I see, it's got a 178 degree uh, viewing angle. No, it does not support 3D for the people who are asking, uh, who will be asking. But yeah, from uh, you know, on a first impression, I really love this TV in the sense that the colors look nice. It's it's a really Xiaomi like uh, display, even though uh, it is made by LG. The color profiles and things like that, we really really like this TV. So another thing that worth adding is uh, it's not the first time that we've seen the console outside of the TV. We've seen this on a Samsung TV, I guess, that we had once. Uh, but the beauty of this one is they've just gone ahead and put the speakers out here. So when people really crib about the fact that uh, the speaker quality of a television is compromised because of its uh, slimness, which is of course a fact, uh, but here you're at least going to get a sound bar grade quality of output at the very least. Uh, of course, we're going to comment on that if the TV ever launches in India and we get it for review. But yeah. Uh, it is one of the key highlights speaking of highlights i can actually breathe well and i'm not sure if it's just me with happy air but uh, xiaomi is also showcasing their air purifier um i actually don't know much about it this is actually the back side of the air purifier we turned it around so we could show you um the uh, on off switch that's here there's a probably a vent here i have no idea what that is but um yeah so it's sucking in air from one of the sides and uh, pushing it out from the top the uh, prasad do you have anything to say about the air, pu uh, air purifier so the air purifier is actually uh, again this was something we expected in india a long time ago but well it's something we really need in india it's not in india any time uh, yet and we're hoping xiaomi will uh, have a product like this it's actually a more of a iot product you know it did uh things with Xiaomi phones you can do a bunch of stuff with uh the phones and this thing in your house we've been having a bunch of air purifiers from uh, Eureka Forbes and others so we're hoping Xiaomi will find a market for this soon we are going to move on to another product now uh that, that is the Mi LED bulb it's something a lot of us have seen before and it's a pretty cool gadget it it's basically an IoT uh, bulb and there's not much to talk about in terms of features or specs 
for that matter. But it's a pretty good, uh, cool IoT bulb, and we hope Xiaomi brings that to India sometime. Yeah, so one of the coolest things is uh, it has the power button on the top here, which is essentially just a switch on and switch off. But it's the button in front. So right now you've set it. I've set it in a mode where it is just going to keep changing lights, and it's actually kind of something that you could have lying around in the corner of your house for mood lights, especially if you're someone who's into really dim lit rooms with a lot of decorations all around. I know a lot of people that love. Uh, funky interiors and this could definitely be one of them or if you're someone that just wants it to be a little static you could just click it again and it'll change to a static color you can click it again and it'll change to a static color you can click it again and it'll change to another static color and it uh, then comes back to the rotating colors i'm pretty sure as prasit said if it's an iot device and if it's a, uh, if you have an app that can control it you can actually choose the color you want can you do yeah yeah so change the color you can you can even have various modes. You can put this on strobe and things like that, and you know, make a disco in your house. So Xiaomi's also announced another product today. It is uh, the Mi Bluetooth speaker, and it's uh, a highlight of this product is that it costs just two thousand rupees, uh, and that's pretty good. We don't know about the battery life, but on the side you have, uh, you can see uh, it's glowing blue because it's switched on, and uh, you have uh, the volume controls, and of course the next and previous controls and the Bluetooth icon for when you connect it. Uh, for the price point of 2000 rupees, we think it's actually a steal. Uh, there are so many Bluetooth speakers available in the market for this price point, but knowing Xiaomi's history, we can expect this to be a real bang for the buck product. Nonetheless, we are going to reserve our final judgment for when we actually get to hear it. Uh, it's just the only demo piece lying around here, and they really haven't connected it to anything, so we can't hear it. We just found it lying on the table, and we thought we'd give you a quick look at what the new Mi Bluetooth speaker looks like. It's uh, fairly minimalistic, which is a good thing. You've got uh, uh, two rubber housings at the bottom out here, which means that you can keep it on a table uh, standing face up properly. Or you could just let it lie down uh, this way on a table, which is how we found it. And the fact that it actually has a glowing icon for the Bluetooth and the on-off is that subtle touch which will let you know that the product is on or off. And we're going to see if we can get our hands on this one for an in-depth review. You can stay tuned to Digit for more information on this. But Forget everything, we're going to move to the best product that is there, the Mi 5. Because, yeah, the uh, even though we're at the Redmi Note 3 launch, we do have a Mi 5 here. And we're just going to talk about the Mi 5 for two minutes. And look, we finally have the Mi 5 in our hands. And uh, again, you've seen this before on Digit, of course, uh, when we went from MWC. And it is oh so small. You know, what I really like about uh, the Mi 5 is that it's just super small it's uh, and uh, they just don't make phones this small anymore the fingerprint sensor is here at the bottom you have this uh, the curved display that Hugo Bar uh, I'm sorry the curved back that Hugo Barra really talked about and yes the glass back feels uh, fine if you ask me it, it's not yeah super premium like say a note or something but it's up there with the best in the market you know and I like the build it runs on the Snapdragon 820 processor of course so that's something to look forward to we it's also the first Mi phone on Marshmallow and we hope it will live up to everything that we expect from this, right? I, Samir is actually the first one to have seen this amongst us. I'm going to let him add more to this if he wants to. So yeah, uh, another thing is it has USB Type-C uh, which is great. So it's uh, future proof, it's going to have quick charging, better data transfer. Um, also, uh, at the launch event at MWC, uh, Hugo Barra spoke about a new kind of storage system that's been implemented in the phones uh, in the Mi 5, which is going to essentially uh, make everything that happens on the phone feel uh, faster. Actually, we have an article up on Digit which actually highlights all the new key features of the Mi 5. We're going to try to put it down in the descriptor of the article as well, so you guys can check that out. And uh, stay tuned to Digit.in. I'm sure by the time you guys see this video, we're going to have our review of the Redmi Note 3 out and uh, you can check that out you can also check out our first impressions video of the mi 5 and if you have any questions about any of the products that were announced here you can always let us know in the comment section below we will try to get back to you as always is there anything else we need to talk about i think that's it we're at we're at the redmi note 3 launch so you will have the redmi note 3 review uh, live we've been actually playing with it for the past one week so you will have the redmi note 3 review to watch and by the time you get to this you'll probably have watched it but we're expecting the Mi 5 in India sometime in the next quarter or the quarter after. And uh, we'll have more from Xiaomi there. Yep. And as always, if you like this video, you can always hit the like button. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. And stay tuned to Digit.in from the latest and greatest in the world of technology. We'll catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now.